Toyota sells more cars than any other automaker. In 2021, Toyota actually outsold General Motors here stateside, being the first automaker to take down GM in 90 years. In 2022, a lack of microchips is hitting the Japanese automaker hard, crimping sales to a minus 18% through the first eight months. However, the future is looking bright for Toyota. Their commitment to fun cars from the GR lineup, their commitment to durable trucks and SUVs, their commitment to the masses with crossovers and hybrids has them gaining momentum into a more and more electrified future. Last year, Toyota sold over 3.1 million hybrids worldwide, but Toyota has their work cut out as they wish to sell three and a half million battery electric vehicles per year by 2030. Today, we'll discuss what Toyota is coming down the hatch as we ramp up to an electric future. If you're excited for the future of Toyota, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for all the news updates. We're gonna start with 2022. And speaking of news updates, I will be driving the Toyota Crown next month, about two, three weeks from the time of this recording. So welcome back, Crown, to the United States for the first time in 50 years. Can't wait to drive you in the new Hybrid Max powertrain. And I'm also excited to drive the turbocharged Highlander, as well as the Corolla Cross Hybrid and the revamped and refreshed Corolla and Corolla Hybrid. It's going to be a lot of fun. So definitely stay tuned for that coverage coming in the near future. So what else has happened here in 2022 for Toyota? Well, the GR Corolla and I will be getting it in October in my driveway to drive to tell you guys what it's like to drive. So definitely stay tuned for that hot hatch. Oof, I was there for the reveal. It's a beautiful car. And I've already mentioned the refresh on the Corolla and Highlander, as well as the new variant that is the Corolla Cross Hybrid. And we also got a minor refresh on the RAV4. You know, we got a refresh, a more traditional refresh last year in terms of like headlights. That was about it. This year we get the new software. On the upper grades, you get a fully digital MID. So it's in, in an upgraded screen as well. The RAV4 is really taking that leap forward for 2023 just in time as the new CRV comes out. That sums up 2022. We are going to be looking at our crystal balls from here on out because everything from this point forward is my guess. Make sure you have your salt shakers. In 2023, we're expecting the next generation Tacoma to come out. And just like the Highlander ditching the V6 and the Lexus RX ditching the V6, I'm expecting the Tacoma to forego the V6 for a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine, uh, 317 pound feet of torque. Now, what kind of transmission will this have? Will it have an eight speed or a 10 speed? It's hard to say. I'm, I'm almost positive we'll have a 10 speed auto shared with the Toyota Tundra. That's not a bad thing. And I just drove, uh, well, I have the Tundra capstone in my driveway. And last week I drove the ultra luxury uh, Lexus LX 600. The 10 speed autos in those truck based platforms, the F platform is really, really good. And the Tacoma uh, will have a hybrid. So, this setup right here is going to be, in theory, the new range topping Tacoma. So, we take the 2.4 liter turbo, we give it the 10 speed auto more than likely, we give it the 50 ish horsepower motor, and we pair it with that 275 horsepower engine. We get 323 horsepower and up to 440 pound feet of torque. And your miles per gallon, it's hard to say, but it should be over 25 miles per gallon. We should see this hybrid setup as well as this turbo four cylinder and other upcoming F platform vehicles like the Forerunner, like the Prado, possibly the GX. And if you guys saw my most recent video about Toyota talking about the Prius, that will be coming 100% next year. The Prius as well as the Prius Prime or plug-in hybrid, wherever you're at in the world. That will be super exciting as we're going to see a two liter on the plug-in hybrid prime. We could see or somewhere around 40 to 50 miles of plug-in range on the, on the plug-in prime. And on the normal Prius, maybe 60 miles per gallon. I don't think that's a stretch. So the new Prius now is only going to look a lot sharper and better, leaving the funny looks of the fourth generation behind, taking that step forward as a more aggressive vehicle as we're hearing from Japan. So Prius will, will hit it out of the park. Uh, for those still looking for an affordable, efficient, and now should be a, maybe a little bit more upscale than it was before to separate itself from the now really, really good Corolla hybrid. Now, also what could be happening in 2023, the CHR is being canceled in Canada. Is that That's what we're hearing. It hasn't been official by Toyota, but dealers are saying this in Canada. So there's a good chance that if it's gone in Canada in 2023, that it could be gone here 
as well in the United States in 2023. So why would they do this? We have the Corolla Cross made here stateside, and it might wait a couple of years before it returns as a fully electric vehicle. That's just my guess. We will wait to see what happens with the CHR. It's not looking good, though, for the next generation for North America. It's very popular outside of North America, but now that we have the, the Corolla Cross built here, I'm just not super sure on the next generation coming here in 2023 when it, sh when it is supposed to debut for that second generation anyways. All right, and the last big vehicle coming out in 2023 is literally a big vehicle called the Grand Highlander. We'll be building the Princeton, Indiana plant. We'll have semi-autonomous technology. We'll have like uh, smart parking features where you can park it with your phone and it will have a plethora of powertrains. It will be the sister vehicle to the Lexus TX. It'll be a three row large people mover, a not body on frame. So it'll have a unibody design. If we go over to the powertrains real quick, no V6, but it will have this 2.4 liter turbo standard 275 horse. And then I'm expecting a variety of hybrids, more than likely these two right here. So not that much different from the Toyota Sienna. Uh, where it has 246 horsepower or so, 245 horsepower. And then you could have a plug-in version of it, just like the RAV4 Prime, for example. That could very well be coming, maybe not at launch, and we'll talk about that later, but this will eventually probably, more than likely, slot its way inside of the Grand Highlander at some point in time. But it should launch with these two powertrains. Just know that the turbo will be standard and then you'll have the option of this 35 miles per gallon 350H setup. Now we move on to 2024. And this is where things get pretty fun. The Camry will get redesigned and gone is the Avalon. And so they have, X and the Lexus ES at this point from the Kentucky plant. So they're going to have a lot of customization, new things going on in the Kentucky plant for the upcoming redesign RAV4, but especially this Camry. And what I'm hearing is that the Camry could be fully electrified, not fully battery electric, maybe one day, but the Camry will have potentially only electric or hybrid powertrains. So if you wanted a V6, that is for sure gonna be gone. You might be able to get the Turbo 4, but it would only be in this sort of setup that we see in the Toyota Crown and Lexus uh, RX, for example, on the 500 HF Sport. I think this could very well be the standard Camry going forward, and it could be all-wheel drive standard, but around 245 horsepower coming from this setup. And if the Grand Highlander is getting 35 miles per gallon out of this, the Camry will probably get 50 miles per gallon all-wheel drive potentially as well as an option, I would think. And I'm also expecting in 2024 that the 4Runner will come out on the F platform. Now, I guess it is possible that the Camry and 4Runner could come out in 2023. I just don't know what would fill 2024 then. So you could flip these pieces around. Maybe the Tacoma comes out in 2024 and the 4Runner in 2023, stuff like that. I know the Prius for sure is coming out in 2023, but back to 2024, Camry and 4Runner. 4Runner will be still made uh, over in Japan. They'll drop the V6, put the four cylinder turbo in there, as we see here. And then they'll also have this Tacoma uh, powertrain as we go over to the other spreadsheet. And it should be something like this, 323 horsepower, hybridized 440 pound feet of torque. See that miles per gallon, over 25 miles per gallon on a 4Runner, we can dream right, but I don't think it's that far-fetched at this point. Also, the 4Runner will be on that new F platform, like the Tundra, like the Sequoia, like the Lexus LX, like the upcoming Lexus GX, like the upcoming Prado, like the upcoming uh, Tacoma. It's essentially a universal truck platform by Toyota. So moving on from the redesigns, we should get a couple of refreshes and that's on the Venza. Do I expect a new powertrain? No, it should be, should be the same setup that we have right here around 230 some horsepower and hybrid standard, of course, but also when that vehicle came out, it came out alongside a new hybrid Sienna. And we should get a refresh on that Sienna in 2024. Not expecting a plug-in hybrid, even though that's what I want. Those two vehicles should get the updated Toyota interfaces, new software, new screens, that sort of thing. But nothing too radical. Maybe new headlights, nothing too radical. Just a, a normal refresh, facelift, or whatever you want to call it. 2025 is where things get real juicy for Toyota. That's when they open the battery plant in North Carolina and start making batteries for battery electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids in North America. 
And I think in 2025 is when we'll see our next fully battery electric vehicle from Toyota. If I had to take a stab, it might be the BZ5X, the large three row, but time will tell. You know, the BZ4X at that point will be on the market for about two to three years, depending on when they can bring it out to the market. This has been recalled essentially since it was launched. Man, it's still it's just a rough launch for that BZ4X. But by 2025, they'll have figured out the platform, that ETNJ platform by then. Could very well be the large three-row crossover, but it could also be the CHR sort of battery electric vehicle as well. We'll see, but I know for sure in 2025, we will be getting another battery electric vehicle of some sort. It could be a sedan, okay? And we'll talk about that in 2026 as well. Also in 2025, could see a refresh on the Mirai. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicle doesn't really affect anyone. Uh, <laughs> and then we also have a refresh on the Tundra by 2025 as well. We will also get a couple redesigns, and these are two big volume sellers for Toyota. Redesign on the Corolla, redesign on the RAV4. And since it's so far out, it's hard to say like powertrains and things like that. I just think um, RAV4 Prime will be easier to get your hands on because in theory, they should be making those battery, pa pla battery packs here stateside now because we have a battery plant open in 2025 in North Carolina for Toyota. 2026, another electric vehicle comes out. Maybe it's a sedan this time around. It could be the BZ3, which at this point, if it comes out in 2026, the BZ3 would have already been on sale in Japan, China and Japan, maybe other parts of the world for three to four years in 20, since 2023, since we're already getting spy shots of it in China here in 2022. Other than that electric vehicle, we should see a refresh on the Sequoia, refresh on the GR86, refresh on the Corolla Cross, refresh on the BZ4X. I don't know what they're going to do with the Supra. I think in 2025, that might be the last year of the Supra might go out the bang. We're hearing rumors of a GRMN Supra with over 500 horsepower. So who knows what's going to happen to the Supra by 2026? I got to get the dog. I think I also forgot to mention that the Supra here in 2022 got a manual. So that's a big deal. Also by 2026, there should be a redesign on the Highlander. And in 2027 and beyond, that's where Toyota gets real saucy with their battery electric vehicle onslaught. When Akio Toyota showed off all those concepts back in December, just a couple of them are starting to come to fruition. That CHR looking thing, we're getting that compact SUEV. The Toyota Crown Sport was in there as well. Possibly that little FJ Cruiser BEV could be coming after 2027. So there's just a lot of things coming for Toyota after 2027 when it comes to battery electric vehicles. In the meantime, I think it will be a very slow ramp up for BEVs for Toyota. And it's very possible by 2027, they only have about three or four BEVs on the market. Where that changes is if they decide to make fully battery electric versions of some of their current models out there. Let's say that the Camry could get a fully battery. I don't see it happening. Um, or let's say the Grand Highlander. I've heard that that's a slated and designed to have a fully battery electric version of it at some point. I will tell though, guys, that they can modify their existing TNJ platforms for battery electric vehicles. Look, the Lexus UX 300E, it's on the TNGAC platform, which is very similar to the CHR BEV in China as well. So they can modify their current vehicles to battery electric vehicles, but I just don't know how widespread that will be by 2025, 2026, you might not start seeing that sort of conversion until 2027 beyond, as well as more battery electric vehicles. So that paints a picture for Toyota in the next five years. What do you think? Do you think I'm I'm close, accurate? I mean, these things have to be coming. Maybe the the year is not perfect. And I didn't get into like, oh, it's going to be in the first quarter of this year. There's just no way of knowing. Toyota doesn't even know because things change. And the world has issues that creep up from time to time that set schedules on fire. But which of these vehicles that I talked about today are you most excited for? I'm sure Forerunner is ranking high up there. Maybe that little FJ Cruiser battery electric vehicle, maybe a redesigned Camry, uh, maybe that Grand Highlander. There's just a lot of stuff coming from Toyota in the near, near future. It's worth getting excited over for sure. And if you missed my other videos in the series, where does X brand go from here? Make sure to check those out. I really enjoy looking into the crystal ball, figuring out where these brands are going based off where they're coming from and based off what they've showed us so far. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the comments below. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and peace out.